I mean, I think for me, India is one of the most exciting countries in the world at the moment. We've got a Northern Ireland uh, Investment Summit coming up. The economy has reached escape velocity and some enormous structural um, improvements have been made in terms of sort of payment systems, uh, how the economy is managed. And also there's a fundamental national endeavor to make India the leading economy in the world. So as a minister from the United Kingdom, the opportunity to partner with that endeavor is enormous. Um, a number of different areas. Obviously, you've got tech, so we just had London Tech Week. Hundreds of Indian uh, businesses coming to the UK, looking to set businesses up in the UK to expand their businesses. We have very strong relationships with some of the big consulting firms. So you've got Tata Consulting, you've got Infosys, other companies like that, and a plethora of smaller ones that are really adding a lot of value to the economy in the UK by partnering with their businesses back in India in terms of providing up-to-date and new cutting-edge technology that can help make us more productive. And then on the auto side, you've got a number of great companies. One of the greatest companies in the United Kingdom, Jaguar Land Rover, is owned by Tata, doing huge amounts of research and innovation in this country. And then in two wheelies, you've got uh, TVS and um, Mahindra and Mahindra that are really expanding their base here in terms of buying and reinvigorating national brands, taking our intellectual capital here in terms of design and putting it back into manufacturing in India. So the opportunities for both countries to work together in, in terms of tech uh, and advanced manufacturing in autos is huge, and I'm very excited about that. Hopefully, Tech Week illustrated that well. Well, the UK has so much to offer. Uh, we have an extremely stable and predictable legal and tax structure. Uh, we sit in the saddle of the time zones. Like India, we have English as our language of, of business. Um, and we have two key attributes. The first is financial services. We are the capital for international finance in the world. So if you want to raise money for your company, either at a startup level or right the way through to listing on a stock exchange, we're really the place that you have to be. And second, we've got the people. The top three universities out of the top 10 are in the UK. We are producing hundreds of thousands of graduates every year, specifically trained in the new sciences that we need in order to become a science and technology superpower by 2030. Uh, and money is pouring in. I think we were the top destination for life sciences venture capital uh, last year in the world outside the US, and the same for FinTech. And in other areas like AI, fusion, quantum computing, we're leading the way. So if you want to come to the UK, and we welcome you, come to the UK to invest and set your business up and make your journey today. The one thing I'd also like to raise is the opportunities that Northern Ireland presents. We've got a Northern Ireland uh, Investment Summit coming up, 12th, 13th of September. We're going to have hundreds of international investors there, including many from India. And Northern Ireland is going to sit in a very unique place. It's thanks to the Windsor Framework negotiated by the Prime Minister with the EU, it's going to have huge trading advantages in terms of access to the EU, but it's also going to sit within the UK regulatory and tax structure. So the advantages are going to be immense. It's not an area necessarily that many people would have looked at in the past, but its time is now. It has huge infrastructure opportunities in terms of investment. And again, like in the rest of the UK, it has some first-class universities that are turning out some of the most advanced tech uh, entrepreneurs um, and creative scientists anywhere else in the UK. And the facts are there. Uh, investment in uh, startup and venture, I think, trebled in the last few years. And in terms of FDI, we've now reached 20 billion. And Belfast is the second fastest growing city outside London in terms of fintech investment. So if you don't know anything about Northern Ireland, fly to Belfast and have a look. It's going to be a great opportunity.